Okay, now in this video, we will discuss our question five for this November two thousand and nineteen question paper for grade twelve. Um, in the description below, we will have a link amanyo for our questions and we will for this question paper. Question five for it, it's all about our reaction rates. So, like question five, but he, the calcium carbonate in antacid tablets reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid according to the following balanced equation. So this is the balanced equation in a change in energy which is less than zero. So this tells us this reaction is a exothermic reaction. So 5.1 is the above reaction exothermic or endothermic? 5.1 meaning it is exothermic reason give a reason for the answer delta h is less than zero so we say about we are give a ticket an antacid tablet of mass two gram is placed in um hydrochloric acid after 30 seconds the mass of the tablet was found to be 0 0.25 grams so what happened lano guti but it is a tablet, a two gram tablet by Faga, a part of acid. Now, after we found after, now after we inside the acid after 30 seconds, 30 seconds later, the mass it decreases from two grams to 0 0.25 grams. So it took part in the reaction, the difference took part in the reaction. Right, go 5.2, we say to calculate the average rate in grams per second of the above reaction so learn about this calculator e reaction rate so for 5.2 <clears throat> the rate is calculated as mass uh, the rate is calculated as, as equal to negative change in mass divided by the change in time why the change in mass it's because of lana but is it calculated in grams per second so Lana don't change anything in your gala lama mass chung of anjalo and then uh, basically you are substitute as the change in mass divided by the change in time. So this is the formula, and then after substitution is equal to minus uh, in bracket it's 0, 0,25, which is the final amount, minus 2 which is the initial amount divided by 30 seconds or 30 seconds minus zero. Among uh, divide, this is my final answer, 0 0.0583 in grams per second. Or ama units wako nga wapala as, ama units wako nga wapala as grams per second. It's still fine. No pala, so it's still fine as well. Right. Le grams per second and this and this it simply means the same thing. Ne? Means the same thing. So five point three. But the end acid tablet contains forty percent of calcium carbonate. And then Vesivati another end acid tablet of mass two gram is allowed to react completely with hydrochloric acid so after using this two gram tablet the savings are another two gram tablet which is reacting hydrochloric acid again but by mentioning something else now but 40 percent of calcium carbonate is present in the antacid so 5.3 but he calculate the volume of the carbon dioxide that will be collected at standard temperature and pressure the stp is standard temperature and pressure assume that all the carbon dioxide produced is from the calcium carbonate so that means our you know calcium carbonate here to it's some how some sort of you know limiting reagent here too, right so the calcium carbonate your azos nigeza any a carbon dioxide so in order to find the carbon dioxide i need to find the amount of carbon of calcium carbonate which will take part in the reaction so after the investing seven science stoichiometry to find the volume for a carbon dioxide produced so but first okay so now 5.3 this is all so for now the mass, the volume of carbon dioxide. But first, 
sinani but but you pay two gram tablet right so imagine this as the as our tablet and then for only 40 percent of this tablet will take part in the reaction which is the calcium carbonate part so this is four percent 40 percent of the antacid and at the 40 percent of the ant, of the antacid years will take a part in in this reaction which is 40 percent divided by 100 percent times two grams and for no was what is four per 40 percent of the two gram you know, 40 divided by 100 times the two gram in total with it 0 0.8 grams so 0 0.8 grams of the two gram will react or will take part in the reaction so now the reacted amount of a carbon of, of a calcium carbonate is this this is the amount of a calcium carbonate as a azo react but then it is the reacted amount of a calcium carbonate a reactive because with the, the number of moles and for now the number of moles is a reactor or is take a part in this reaction so since my vaso is a stoichiometry and in all stoichiometric calculations we use ama moles so the number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass the mass is already given as or she calculated as 0 0.8 as 0 0.8 divided by the molar mass the molar mass is 40 plus 12 plus 3 times 16 why it's because of 40 is the molar mass for a calcium and then the 12 is the molar mass for a carbon and then the 3 times 16 is the molar mass of e oxygen times 3 because we have a subscript of 3 right and then the answer it is over equal to let's calculate let us calculate is about 0 0.8 divided by 40 plus 12 plus 3 times 16 this is equal to uh, 8 times 10 to exponent minus 3. 8 times 10 to exponent minus 3. So our answer is equal to uh, 8 times 10 to exponent minus 3 moles of e calcium carbonate. Of e calcium carbonate. Now, Mfuna the number of mfuna the volume of a carbon dioxide formed. But before we tell the volume, I need to find the number of moles using the number of moles of a calcium carbonate. So looking at the equation here, Tula, I can see that the calcium carbonate um on the left hand side, I'm sure on this equation. In a calcium carbonate the reactor the hydrochloric acid to form a calcium chloride and a carbon dioxide in the H2O. So minangfuna e carbon dioxide a form a gil. So using a stoichiometry gate now, since I have the number of moles for a calcium carbonate, I can see that the ratio between calcium carbonate and e carbon dioxide is one to one. So for every one mole of calcium carbonate which reacts one mole of carbon dioxide is formed so for every one mole of a calcium carbonate one mole of e carbon dioxide is formed so therefore it means for every eight times ten to exponent minus three mole of a calcium carbonate eight or the same amount is formed for a carbon dioxide, right? So, Ganja Alug is saying the number of moles of a carbon dioxide. Now, I need to convert the, the number of moles of a carbon dioxide into a into volume. So, therefore, the volume formed is equal to the number of moles times molar volume. Why the molar volume? It's because of the gas is collected at standard temperature and pressure and the number of moles is 8 times 10 to exponent negative 3 times 
22.4 which is the molar volume at standard temperature and pressure so therefore we can calculate to get much 8 times 10 to exponent negative 3 multiplied by 22.4 answer in three decimal places is 0 comma it's going to be 0 comma 179 cubic decimeters our answer whenever we calculate your volume using molar volume your answer always you put as a cubic decimeters right <coughs> now this is the amount of gas amount of volume collected for calcium carbon dioxide so this is our answer for 5.3 and then again there's another statement lana um but the reaction rate of similar and acid tablets with excess hydrochloric acid uh, of concentration 0 0.1 mole per cubic decimeter at different temperatures is measured the graph below was obtained so on the y-axis in a reaction rate on the x-axis in a temperature our graph is in a lagrange in a year rise steadily from left to right so our graph is increasing basically use the information and the graph to answer the following questions 5.4 write down one controlled variable for this investigation okay 5.4 so for 5.4 our answer is over a concentration why in shonjalo um since a concentration is one of the factors that affect a logange e e reaction rate um temperature it's one of them concentration it's one of them E state of division it's one of them and catalyst it's one of them so if ever we investigator one of the factors the other factors must be kept constant so our answer light can be concentration state of division or you know guy no catalyst or something at the size of e of your of your reactant or a tablet they are color right so one of the one of the other factors must be kept constant so that's our controlled variable for this investigation or a constant variable right so 5.5 uh, write down a conclusion that can be made from the graph i think you mentioned earlier on the graph is increasing so it means that whenever the reaction the reaction when the reaction rate increases so does the temperature increases oh i think you make so um also pala ama ama conclusions go go my graph so i go you know you start off by ah okay back 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 it doesn't matter it doesn't matter i'm not to be in it about the I see that it doesn't matter. Good, like when Funuguti, if ever was when the conclusion, you need to start with the independent variable or landing a dependent variable, but it doesn't matter. So, as the temperature increases, so does the reaction rate increases. So, that's our conclusion for this graph. Or, as the reaction rate increases, so does the temperature increases. So our reaction rate, which is one over time, increases with increase in temperature. 5.6. Use the collision theory to fully explain the answer to 5.5. Why a reaction rate increase with an increase in temperature? So a collision theory, it is uh, in order for ilogange e reaction is successful we need our effective collisions right we need our effective collisions and in order to obtain our effective collisions we need our our particles are over at a higher kinetic energy right and our uh, molecules are our particles work if an a higher kinetic energy it simply means with the more energy to 
react as you move around le your container yako and then i collide more per unit time thus forming ama loganji ama ama effective collisions so in in order to answer this question ka 5.6 um in relation to 5.5 write down a conclusion i should beg we need to provide a reason for the conclusion as cnz above so so no explain this statement in terms of the collision theory so singatini again singati an increase in temperature uh, so if ever we increase a e temperature an increase Okay. An increase in temperature. Or oh, let me summarize this. An increase in temperature. Uh, it increases. An increase in temperature. It increases. An increase in temperature it increases ilogans e e average or a city average uh, kinetic energy average kinetic energy and then if if ever gonna if ever go increase a ilogans e average kinetic energy of lama particles now it means that ama particles way to as a more energy now i more energy so Zobana and Zobana my effective collisions per unit time. And then if it's not allow my effective collisions per unit time, it reaction rate is over it reaction rate it is over much more higher. So therefore I'm full of pala I'm full of pala pants is a tatis cart ganjal. So that's the answer for five point six as for five point seven but he redraw the graph above in the answer book um and then on the same set of axes sketch the curve that will be obtained if hydrochloric acid of concentration 0 0.2 mole per cubic decimeters is now used label this curve y so if ever back i'm so italian but is it the hydrochloric acid has a concentration of 0 0.1 now increase the concentration to 0 0.2 at the same time increase in the temperature so now two things are increased temperature nani ne ne concentrations for no draw a curve y is a represent this change for 5.7 again for 5.7 now curve here to a redraw la it's this one nila right this curve neither so now having to increase a ilugans e concentration it means that e e reaction rate the amna is when zani is increase so my curve y is over slightly above the red one this red curve why because of e concentration now we increase we increase on a reaction rate so therefore our curve y is over something like this so an increase in concentration it's an increase in a reaction rate and then is a container as a increasing curve why because of increase in temperature as well so this is our final answer for 5.7 uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, now we enjoy this video please leave a like and if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing if you told us some value out of this video, I'm going to talk to you about it as well. In the description below, I'm going to talk to you about the link for this question paper, uh, for more questions for this question paper. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.